A day in your driverless future. The Businesswoman. It's 8.35 on the 2nd of June 2020, and you're bringing your cup of coffee out the front door. You gesture your hand wearing your smartwatch for a car to go to work, and a slick light unit with your favorite color immediately pulls up in front of your house and opens its front door and trunk as you approach. Since you're carrying something in both hands, you can then easily put your bag into the trunk of the car. The car has already looked up your calendar on your phone and knows you have a meeting at nine at your client's office. As you enter the front seat, you spill some coffee on your seat, right before you confirm the destination by a simple gesture to the car. Your estimated time of arrival appears on the panel, along with today's other calendar reminders, such as picking up your kids earlier than usual at kindergarten today, in order to catch the latest Cars 9D movie at five. While zipping along at 100 miles an hour along the lush fields of the eastern parts of your city, which previously used to be huge parking lots, you remember your colleague's recent promotion and decide to surprise her with chocolate. You open your virtual shopping app on the car's touch panel and select a suitable box. You choose drone delivery at your colleague's home. As your colleague's link status, which pops up on the car's panel as soon as you chose the recipient for the chocolate, tells you your colleague will be working from home today. You include a short video message to go with the chocolate, recorded by the car's internal webcam. Approaching your destination, the car smoothly moves into a slower lane and makes a turn at the correct exit, while the internal lights of the car are turned on for you to see better as you gather your belongings. It alerts you of the spilled coffee inside the car and asks if you want to pay for having the car cleaned internally or clean it yourself. You are in a hurry and choose to pay the $5 to have it cleaned and the car immediately spins off to the closest automated car wash before being rented to another client. At four, the appropriate number of units appear outside your office to pick up the usual number of people and bring them to their destinations. And your unit spins off to take you to your kid's kindergarten, but suggests a larger unit on the next leg of your journey. You confirm a unit for four people, and before you get to the kindergarten, the larger unit has passed through the security gates and you can see on your own screen that your kids are eagerly climbing into the larger unit. You smile as you look forward to seeing them again and shrug when you remember the time when you spent more than two hours every day in traffic jams instead of being with your family. After hugs and kisses, the doors close and you turn the four seats to face each other and all your three kids compete to share the ups and downs of their day so far. During the latter part of the movie, the youngest one falls asleep. And when entering the family unit to take you home, you put his seat all the way back to former bed where he immediately curls up. You turn the lights down and speak quietly with the other two about the movie, and one after the other falls asleep on your way back. Your husband's smartwatch tells him when you will all be home and comes out to help you carry the kids to bed. You are relieved to see he has already had today's groceries delivered by drone and has prepared an evening snack for the two of you to enjoy.